What's good guys, just another video So as you may be aware There's rumours that Saudi Arabia are looking to do Like a heavyweight semi-final Between the big four In Tyson Fury Alexander Usyk, Deontay Wilder And Anthony Joshua to discover Who is the best of this era In an undisputed clash In the final Now talks have been going on that apparently There will be a semi-final Of Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder in one fight and there'll be another semi-final with the two undefeated heavyweights in Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk for basically the undisputed belts because all the belts lie with them two. The winners of each fight will face each other. Now I feel as though this has been talked about for December hence why there's been a bit of a pause in Anthony Joshua's announcement for his next fight. We know after his recent win against um, Jermaine Franklin, he said he wanted to be back out in 12 weeks. But we also know that, you know, someone from Saudi Arabia, Prince Khalid, was ringside. I saw him since I was at the fight. He attended the fight. Maybe this has always been a plan from Saudi Arabia. We know that both of these fights will generate huge and massive income for all four fighters and everyone will be paid very handsomely. <coughs> As we all know that all four fighters are massive names worldwide in their own right. AJ, we know him as a big draw. Tyson Fury has become a major draw over the last few years. Usyk continues to fight on the road and he's yet to be defeated. And we know Deontay Wilder, you know, he's able to end a fight within seconds. So these are all very marketable and very sellable assets in all four fighters. So no doubt will the whole world pause to watch these two fights if they were to take place. However, my next question would be, is Anthony Joshua ready to take this fight? Is it a wise move for AJ to sit out until December and then take on this fight? I do understand that there's a risk of, you know, maybe losing and ruining the fight. However, I feel as though a fight against a very winnable, against a very winnable opponent for Anthony Joshua in July would have still made sense because that gives him another training camp under Derek James before going into this big fight in the end of the year. With regards to opponents, there's plenty. Obviously, if AJ knows that he's going to have a big fight against Wilder or any of the other big guys at the end of the year, there's no shame in taking a softer touch, maybe finding someone in the top 20 or top 30 to fill out an arena just to practice some things and get more ring rust off and have a few rounds with. There's really no shame in it. Deontay Wilder recently fought Robert Hellenius in his comeback fight. Fury has taken, you know, light warm-up fights in between, big fights. Dillian White winning, and then he went in and fought Derek Chisora. And now we know Fury's next fight is going to be a big fight. So there's no shame in doing that. And I would have liked to see Ante Joshua come up against maybe a Eric Molina or, you know, someone of that ilk who... It's a bit of a name, but it's a na it's a fight that Anthony Joshua has a 70-30 chance of winning. And, you know, just to get that confidence out, you know, he always talks about wanting to improve, that he always mentions it's all about getting better and better. Well, the only way you're going to get better is by showing up to work. You don't get better by taking seven to eight months off. And I feel as though that fight in between in July would have done him some really, like, real good for Anthony Joshua's confidence. You know, go in there beat him up over six rounds, get that confidence back, get that feeling of being in the ring because it's one thing practicing and sparring and training and it's one thing doing it under the lights. And if he's going to go in there against a Deontay Wilder, he wants to make sure that he's fully ready mentally and physically. And by taking a fight in July, it would have allowed for him to, you know, get another training camp in, get the fight out of the way, have some time off and then start training camp again in late August, early September for the big fight in December. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Will Saudi Arabia pull through with this heavyweight semi-final between these four fighters? We know that's where all the money is right now. Hence why I titled the video Jeddah for the Cheddar because it seems as though all the big fights are heading over to Saudi Arabia. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment and subscribe.